So guys, welcome to KLIA. Uh, I'm waiting for it to arrive in the road trip car. Uh, I don't think we've mentioned what it is yet. So the thing about Yip is you can definitely hear him before you see him. And that's... Morning. <laughs> the gear is going to be a problem. It's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put that, I'll put so yeah, that's our road trip car, unfortunately. 1,500 for me, 1,800 for him. Uh, whatever it is, it's going to be one hell of a ride. My trip begins in Malaysia's KL, with Ip having stayed over the night before. Our journey brings us through the entire Malaysian peninsula, passing by Ipoh, Penang, all the way up to the border state of Perlis, where we'll cross into Thailand. From there, we'll pass through Hat Yai, making a stopover in Surat Thani to rest up for the evening, before we continue for the final sprint towards Bangkok. Covering an estimated total of 1,800 kilometers, we'll take you on this journey with us and share with you our thoughts and feelings on the experience, if we make it there. Oh shit. Uh, okay, so no, you know most people go to road trip from Singapore to Bangkok. It's been done before. Yeah. It's been done before. Quite it's well. done. Yeah, quite a lot of people have done it. It's not a surprise. We've got friends that have done it. They go up, you know, in their nice uh, SUVs, Forester. What is no? They went in seven series. Oh, they went in seven series. Yeah, we had a bunch of friends go in a seven series. Seven series. We had uh, friends go in Foresters, nice, comfortable, big saloon cars and SUVs, and then um, so. The, the lack of rear seats is anything to go by in terms of what we are in at the moment and probably the racket of the car over the mic. We've somehow chosen Mazda RX-7 FC3S as our road trip car to bring us all the way to... Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> Shit's falling us. Shit's falling off already. <laughs> We'll be taking the Asian Highway 2 from KL to Bangkok, covering a total of 1,800 kilometers out of the 13,107 which AH2 spans. Also known as the Great Asian Highway, the AH is a cooperative project among countries in Asia to improve connectivity amongst Asian countries. Agreements have been signed by 32 countries to allow the highway to cross multiple continents all the way up to Europe. In Singapore, our section of AH2 comprises of the BKE and PIE, crossing over to the North-South Highway which we all know and love. For our journey, that's the exact path we'll be taking and once we hit Thailand, we'll be taking these sequence of highways to make our way into the capital city. Yeah, uh, I've never driven in Thailand before. Uh, I've driven in Bangkok before. Like distance-wise, when you check out Google Maps, right, it's about... I mean, it's not too bad. Like, it's, it's about your average long distance drive from Singapore to KL for example but it's a lot more tiring for some reason really? yeah 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 like it's, that's interesting it's, it feels a lot more draining driving in Thailand so we've just done a quick fuel stop we have a excellent range of 360 kilometers for the tank. Uh, to be fair, that's pretty good. That's like that's six, good. just over six km per liter. Okay lah, I mean, I, okay. That's very good compared to like, you know, a burning, like what? burning oil refinery. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like ultimate cool level thing but uh, we so we contacted Bangkok to Salon and they took their time to get back to us so we only got confirmation that we're going to Bangkok where we are at Tokyo to Salon oh yes I remember this I, I had just had a very long day and then I parked up at home and then it, it called me uh, I think at 12 midnight like 1am it said Nathan clear your calendar for a week 
yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to Bangkok. I was like, what? Yes. No, you, we, we talked about this. We talked about going to Bangkok and I like, then I was like, I'm going to tow the car to Bangkok, okay? Yeah. I'm going to tow the car to Bangkok. I need to focus on my work in Singapore. Yeah. So I go and tow my car to Bangkok. Then they tell me, let's drive there. <laughs> and like, I guess, shit. <laughs> Right now, we are in God knows where because neither of us have driven past KL before. <laughs> so, we are in the land of Big Rock. <laughs> land of Big Rock? What the just, fuck? It's just, it's just rocks everywhere. Like, it's just big mountains. This is Yosemite, it's yeah. Yosemite? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Yosemite. Why is that a refund? Too old. Oh, okay, okay. So, no, no insurance, is it? Thank you. Right, so now we are here at uh, gothai.my. It is a service where they help you settle the documents that you need to go from Malaysia to Thailand. So, what we have here is they, I, I drove through the drive through collection bay and uh, they gave me an envelope with my car, on it, car number plate on it. And inside it, we have our customs documents already prepared for Nathan and I. Uh, we have this form, which I'm supposed to do something about that. I have no idea what it is. And most importantly, what they also give you, uh, what, this is an optional extra, but they give you your number plate, but in Thai. So that's going on the car now. We are now at the Thai border. We have actually cleared the border. But what we had to do additionally was to declare our car. Basically, we have imported this RX-7 into Bangkok. We have temporarily imported this car into Bangkok. This is now a Bangkok car. Oh, really? Yeah, so essentially, you have to import. So what we're doing here is literally custom duties, customs declaration. Do you have to pay anything? You, uh, I don't have to pay anything. I don't think so. I didn't pay anything. So it's, it's, it's not like you declare the value of the car. You declare the value of the oh, car. You declare the value, you declare the value of the car. But Did you believe it? It's a temp <laughs> no, it auto generated actually. Oh, was it? So when we submitted the, when we entered the car information, yeah. it on a uh, on a Thai customs plat uh, platform, they had RX seven. Was it worthless? Which is pretty cool. <laughs> was it worthless? They declared it at nine hundred kg. Not only nine hundred kg, but also. The word value, the value, the value. What did they say? The value of this car is, is cents. Three hundred thousand baht. That works out to that be. That works out to be a thousand bucks. No lie. Oh, ten thousand. Twenty six. Yeah. Look at look at two art art art, art degree list. art degree holders trying to do math. It's about ten thousand. Oh my no, god! 10, is, is that only ten thousand? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ten thousand. It's ten thousand sing. Oh. So now we are free to drive in Thailand for the next. Uh, the, oh oh one month. There oh. is a limit. There's a promise to re-export the vehicle through customs within a month. We left KL about 11 plus. Yeah, about 11 plus. But when we hit the customs, it was about 4. So it's... Something is good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my face is so Have you inherited a mouse? That's not your oh, that's brakes. My clutch. <laughs> that's your yeah, clutch. My, yeah, that's my clutch. But why is it so squeaky? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. This is very you know, strange. This is completely different from Malaysia. Yeah, no. That, that is so cool. Every, you know how in Malaysia, yeah. you see all the slammed D-Maxes, yeah. Hiluxes and everything. Yeah. That's just the standard thing here. All Thai pickup trucks are just slammed. I'm still very unsettled about that truck in, the, in front of us. With yeah. the one door open, wide open. It's not even attached to I it. don't even think that's swinging. No, around. yeah, the door's not held on at the moment. Very hard, yeah, it's only 58 km from here. Yeah, <coughs> oh, we can get there just in time for whatever golden hour I'm gonna get with this. Tourist police. Does that mean they only catch tourists? And we still have 900 kilometers to go. We should oh. actually not be eating about this. Oh. We yeah. could have done it tonight. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> also, it's raining. So, the first time I'm driving in Thailand on Thailand roads, it's raining. A five year old front tires. 
No, Nathan, I haven't connected my wipers. Oh, yeah. Having spent more than half a day on the road from KL, Ib and I decided that we wanted to stop over in Hatyai for some sightseeing. <laughs> yes, we've definitely, so sorry. we've definitely ruined the piece now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she, looks up, she looks quite unhappy. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> what, what, that was, what that was, was literally a burnout. <laughs> I have done a burnout in a monument. I, I've just spent like half a day driving up from what is a very urban KL and now I'm in the middle of a national monument. Holy shit, we are really high up. We are really high up. Yeah, oh I my know, god, I, I just, just saw the I just cliff. Saw as well. I just yeah. saw over the cliff. Yeah, right. our short excursion through the Hat Yai Municipal Park, we were kind of tired from driving the whole day and ducked out for a quick dinner at a family-run hot pot restaurant before we got back into the car and made our way to our rest stop for the night. Hi, hi again, we're back. Uh, we're back from dinner. We just had dinner at a hot pot restaurant. Dinner was great, but you won't get a seat because we were too hungry to vlog it. You remember how you said there's street lamps? Well, I'm just going to turn off this light now and show you. Yeah, 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 I know more street lamps. <laughs> the street lamps don't exist. There, uh, there are some street lamps somewhere. Okay, occasional yeah, occasional street, street, lamps. street lamps. That's the best way to put it, actually. Uh, here we have some. But yeah, that's all. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward drive from down from here to the hotel. Uh, we'll catch you at the petrol kiosk. And, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. With a whopping 900 more kilometers to go, our journey is only half done and with the RX-7 still holding its own, we might just make it without a hitch. Stay tuned for part 2 where we make the final run into Bangkok.